Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, I will do <laughs> a reverse flower dip again, but I poured um, paints gray. Uh, I have Windsor and Newton paints gray, and I put some in my squeeze bottle too, and I have a extreme sheen sterling silver and my pearl white mixture and I will do a reverse flower dip again so I will start with uh, Payne's Grey and Sterling Silver and Paints Grey again. And Pearl White. And Paints Grey again. So I will just repeat this process. Uh, I will add paints gray and silver and paints gray and white and I don't know how many times I will repeat this. And See how this will look. Uh, this paints gray dries dark, but I hope that I will get some kind of uh, blue shade in this dark, almost black uh, paints gray because uh, when it's dry, it looks almost black. But I hope that with um, this pearl white and silver, I will get some this of this blue shade out, and that it will be a little different than if we I would use black. But I love black and white. Maybe I can do a comparison and do next time uh, this silver and white with black and then when this will dry we can uh, see how different is paints gray when it's dry. I just too much white I think. Let's go once more and then we will switch my cup and do a few more layers. Paints gray is opaque so we will see what will happen. I will blow this paint just off the cup a little bit and I don't see much lacing so I don't know how this will work if it will work at all. But as I said quite a lot of times already. If you don't try, you don't know. I just pull a lot of paint here, so. Let's turn it around. And do a few more layers rows not layers I don't know what would be the right word for this row 
those layers. I don't know. I do one more or no I will just finish this middle part too. Uh, I will spray my paper napkin with water while this uh, paint flows off. just to soften it up a little bit I'm really worried right now that I will get just a big gray blob of paint. I don't know and I have quite a lot of air bubbles. I will just pop them a little bit. And let me grab my napkin. Other half. It's much easier do this with the paper napkin because you don't get these big air pockets underneath. And I think that I have. Quite a lot of paint. But my paintings dry okay, they don't crack, so I'm not worried about cracks. Even if I use glue, they don't crack, so. Okay, let's see what will happen, if it will happen something or it will be just a big grey ball, ball here in the canvas, I hope not. So. see that I will get a lot of gray See if 
it will develop a little bit. Maybe I should use just pearl white, not silver. Because I really get a lot, a lot of this gray, grayish. see this blue gray think a lot of it but it's not so bad don't get me wrong but still I was hoping for less gray I will just put some paint here on the Sides where I miss some paint. And maybe some more of this lacing effect will develop while I'm doing this. of paint off the canvas but let me see how this will dry here in the middle so with this um, it shows a little more white through but still quite a lot of this kind of grayish you see I was hoping because this sterling silver is really really bright silver that it will stand out a little more but at the end maybe I should use just um, pearl white but I will leave this dry and see how it will look dried so I'm not 100% happy, but it looks interesting. And I hope that it will dry uh, nice because it will be darker and probably this um, uh, lacing will be more visible when it will be dry. So. So this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye.